What's up, everybody? It's uh, it's, it's time to get out on the road and do some filming today. So, anyway, starting out my vlog this morning. It's uh, Wednesday, so. Welcome. Thanks you for joining in. I'm just kind of sitting here at my desk uh, doing what I do in the morning, kind of going through emails, checking Facebook stuff, and, uh, and of course, editing and uploading a few videos that I can get up online for y'all that I shot yesterday. So, you know, it's... It's a task having to um, film all day and then try to get the stuff up for y'all to watch the next day. So, uh, anyways, yesterday I probably shot 40, 40 plus cars, a lot of pre-owned cars, and then at the end of the night, got to shoot the Mazda CX-9, did the uh, night video on that car, and did a night video on the Volkswagen R-Line Golf. So, that's pretty cool. But, yeah, of course, it's a... Uh, it's a beautiful day outside, so um, let's hit the street. Let's see what we can get into, and I'm um, heading over to Honda today. So uh, let's see if we can check out some Hondas. That'll be pretty cool. Let's see what we can find. Before I stop at the car stores, I gotta return some Crocs that I bought from the Crocs store. Now, uh, my camo Crocs, they've been with me for about two years now. They finally got worn down pretty bad, and they, uh, they got a hole in the bottom of them. But uh, yesterday, I found these. Check them out. Pretty sweet set of Crocs. Um, my wife actually saw John Cena, the wrestler, rocking those Crocs on a video. And she's like, Chad, you gotta check those out. They are really cool. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. But I gotta return these camo Crocs that I bought to replace my old camo Crocs because the uh, the new camo Crocs, I guess the size is different and my heel is kinda hitting off the back of them. So anyways, let's see what we can find in here today and, uh, and get it done. Yeah, all right, let's find some Crocs. We're at the Tanger Outlet in North Charleston. Now, I don't know if they like uh, like you vlogging. Yeah, 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 I do, yeah, what's up, fellas? Ch uh, Charleston car videos. Yeah, what's up, fellas, how y'all doing? How you doing? Good, man, yeah, go in there and subscribe. All right, that was pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> you too. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's like, angry grandpa, yeah, what's up, yeah. Uh, no, don't, uh, Nope, not with the uh, kid behind the camera video stuff. Not with Angry Grandpa, but everybody seems to like Angry Grandpa. Oh. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's pretty windy out here today. That's definitely for sure. Man, so it seems like in the YouTube world, most of your people subscribing on YouTube to YouTube channels seem like the younger generation. Am I right on that? Or uh, do I have any guys that are in their 30s and 40s and 50s watching this stuff, right? I know my father-in-law, he, uh, he watches YouTube a lot on the regular. So he's got a couple channels he subscribes to. You know, one thing I've noticed uh, with people that are uh, a little bit older, that, like my father-in-law that's in his 50s, you know, he actually donates to some of these YouTubers because uh, he sees, you know, the need and the want to uh, see them keep doing good at what they do. So that's always important. Um, I totally get it. Some of y'all that are younger, you can't go robbing your parents, you know, wallet and go paying YouTubers money. But um, I, I get my uh, father-in-law props on that for donating to some of the YouTubers out there that are doing their thing. So anyways, all right, making our way to the Croc store. All right, I'm not going to record going in because I, I got a feeling they probably don't want you doing that. I'm looking for my size, trying to find the tins. They got the tins in this black. I don't know, I don't want black. I like the green too though. Those are pretty sweet. I got these right now on, those are pretty pimp. But um, I like these navy blue with the white. I don't know if I want black. What do y'all think? The black's pretty tight? Or the blue? Well, that's an 11. Well, let's keep looking. I don't know, I like the green too. The green's pretty green's pretty hype. There's a 10 in the green. These are ones I got yesterday. They don't fit. I have to go a size up, which they didn't have a size up. Mine were I need an 11 in those. No. Alright, got the crocs switched out. I'll show you all the new ones real quick. These are pretty tight. Now again, I'm used to wearing just traditional Crocs, 
but I'm liking this new styling on here. This is pretty sweet. Check that out. Yeah. I like it. So I got now a gray with a blue bottom and a blue with a white bottom, which is pretty tight. They're really comfortable to wear. Um, you know, I don't really like my feet kind of sweating so much. And when I'm out on the car lots all day long filming cars, I like a shoe where uh, I can get a little breeze in there and all that kind of thing. So this is like perfect to wear, you know, whether you're on the car lot filming or, um, or doing whatever, mowing the grass, there you go. So anyways, that was pretty wild earlier though. I, sometimes this hat right here gets people's attention. Always seems to uh, spark conversation. I got another YouTube hat too that I've had for, gosh, since 2013. I actually, uh, my, uh, the marketing director at the auto group I used to be at went to Google over in California and she was so nice enough to bring me a YouTube hat back from the YouTube studios, which I'm only, I could wish to go there, but um, Google only would let us send one person from the marketing uh, team at New River, and it had to be Jill. So anyways, no big deal though, but all right, let's head back to the car, and then um, we will uh, keep vlogging today, checking out the vehicles, and uh, man, it is hot. Look at this. That's pretty tight. I mean, that big old flag up there is just waving around. Oh yeah, the Dune Edition's looking sweet on the Beetle. Dude, that guy in the truck is driving like really crazy. Luckily I got a 10 times zoom so I can catch up with him. You know, I don't know what it is lately, folks, but been some crazy drivers on the road here in Charleston. I don't know what's in the coffee, what's in the tea, but I mean, some of these people drive nuts. I mean, he was, I mean, he, I looked in my rear view mirror and seen this big red truck with a big brush car on the front coming fast. And he like rolled up onto my bumper. And then I of course grabbed my camera real quickly to try to film him. But let's see if we can catch up there with him. I mean, That stuff is insane. I mean, I understand wanting to drive fast to have a little fun, you know, if you're driving something sporty, but some of these people drive freaking crazy. I mean, do you, is it me or do uh, this, some people driving by you make you freaking paranoid and nervous? I mean, that fucking shook me up, dude. Um, you know, I, I don't, if you're one of those type of people that drive freaking insane on the roads and just freak people out, please stop, okay? It's not fun. I mean, my life is right here, okay? I got two kids and a wife at home. I got people that depend on me. I got car dealership people that depend on my work. I mean, that is crazy. But anyways, I mean, what is it? What is it? I mean, and am I the only one experiencing people's crazy road rage? on the highway. I mean, have you experienced this driving on the interstates in your city? I mean, people just acting insane? Again, I mean, what is the point of doing that? I mean, you know, anyways, I, the other thing is I had a, a person in my family that was killed in a car wreck not even a month ago um, over some stuff like that. And uh, just uh, real briefly, basically, uh, Sean, my wife's uh, stepbrother, and uh, his uh, his wife and their three-month-old baby are driving down the road after having a picnic, okay? They're going over a, a small bridge over into the Edisto Island, or, or coming back from Edisto Island, riding over a bridge, and a young guy, 22 years old, um, driving a Jeep Grand Cherokee, literally, I guess, had somewhere to be fast, and he thought he would go around the car in front of him on a two-lane road and the bridge was approaching and he didn't have enough time to get back over into his lane and he hit Sean and Lauren and the baby in the car full steam ahead head-on collision Sean leg all screwed up broken baby was fine Lauren gone she's gone okay broke her neck right then and there uh, and you know, I, I hopefully she didn't have to endure endure any pain in that accident. But you know, ever since that happened, and someone I know died in a car accident, like a fatal one like that, it's made me a little more, uh, you know, a little more cautious while driving. 
like I, I feel safe right now holding the camera and uh, and you know and paying attention to the road and driving and talking but um anyways these other drivers that are just doing insane stuff like that truck was a minute ago that is just a little bit too much and uh, it's not just him I mean there's a lot of people that drive like that now, I call that road rage but anyways all right enough of that for today let me know in the comments what do y'all think about road rage and do you uh, do you experience it on your highways where you live at <laughs> there's a reason I'm showing you that over there that is a, a crematorium and uh, we did a wrestling event out here last month and uh, towards the afternoon and people at the event were see look right here look right here look right here and it's actually got heat coming out of it I know it might be hard to see on camera but I can see the heat coming out anyways but there's no smoke right now so that means they're not burning a dead body but um I've actually uh, we're doing this wrestling event out here and people were like, man, what is that smell? Like, I mean, what is that stench? That smell that we're smelling? And, um, you know, I didn't want to tell people really, but somebody else goes, well, look over there, there's a freaking crematorium over there. So, you know, a couple people figured it out real quick that, uh, the place was burning, burning bodies while we're in the parking lot out here doing our wrestling event. It was the stenchiest smell I'd ever smelled in my life. And I've actually never smelled a burning dead body before. And um, so now when I'm out here filming cars sometimes and you smell that, I'm like, oh, well, I guess that's what they're doing over there.